to make a menu item lucrative, it needs to be a little lower end on costing and it needs to be the craveable item on your menu. So for example, my restaurant Scopa, I do a fresh ricotta crostini. I make my own cheese, I use delicious oil, beautiful French flake sea salt, fresh herbs, um, and it's a beautiful dish. I don't really spend a lot of money making it, but I can charge a larger sum for it because it's the most popular menu item. It's the most pleasing. Um, it's a dish that we sell hundreds of a day, but it's at a lower cost to us. That's where really the chef comes into play, right? You gotta create a dish that's using you know, alternative cuts, alternative parts, alternative everything, and putting it into a dish that becomes spectacular. While you're serving a prime New York strip and your cost is 40%, you gotta figure out a way to take the scrap from that meat and turn it into something special, whether it be you know, a stuffed ravioli or, or some sort of something that is somewhat labor intensive, but the cost of the food is almost nothing it really be food that you're throwing away. And uh, you see a lot of chefs doing that now, using like beet tops, carrot tops, uh, you know, different hearts of different vegetables and things like that to create dishes that normally, you know, 10 years ago would be thrown away. If you can find three or four of those on your menu and sell them, that's the other thing. You can put it on the menu, you still gotta sell it. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Downey from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.